on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. And tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls going up against the Philadelphia 76ers at Wells Fargo Center. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. DeRozan and Miller in at the forward slots. Alex Caruso is out there with Kobe White. And it's Vucevic in at the five down low. And for Philadelphia, Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. And it's Oubre in at the three. With the NBA season out of its early stages now, Grant, there have been more than a few surprises. Oh, I love surprises. And every season, there are a few guys who take a major leap forward. Something just clicks for them, or the skills all just come go. together. But regardless, it's always a fun surprise for fans and broadcasters, too. White against Maxi. Pass to Harris for three. And the three-pointer goes. And you just got to respect Harris's three-point shot. He is a very capable scorer from that distance. White, the pass to DeRozan. Takes it inside. Vucevic with it. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Embiid. Last game out, we saw him score 42 from deep Melton. Another three for Philadelphia. And an impressive passer at the five spot. Embiid always has a great feel for when his guys are open. And Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside, Richard. Yeah, B.A., we don't see that as much as we used to. Big men dominating down low. But Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. So it's Philadelphia now. After the basket by Chicago. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Pass to Vucevic. On the wing, Caruso. Six to shoot. Over Oubre, and he's off from 17. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Maxi surveys. Harris outside. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And what you appreciate about Tobias Harris, the steady production, Richard. Yeah, he rarely has an off night. Even if this shot isn't falling, he'll find other ways to help because he has a team-first mentality. Shooting two. First free throw is good. You know, the Bulls got a really bad break the last two seasons with Lonzo Ball's health. Well, B.A., I mean, he's a tremendous floor general. So talented. And to lose somebody like that for any team, it's a hard situation to overcome. And Harris drops them both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. White finds Williams. Over Harris. Williams misses. The 76ers have gone two of three from the floor. Outside Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Count it. One for one to start the game. No stopping Embiid inside. He is a beast. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Here's DeRozan. Basket counts. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. And here is Maxi. Outside Oubre. Back to Maxi. And there's a three-second violation. Here we have the teams that really hustled for those second-chance looks the last 10 games. 
The 76ers in second. Well, you love the attack mindset on the glass. They've imposed their will physically. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're coming off a loss against Miami. Yeah, they made a lot of plays, and they were in it until the end. Just couldn't do enough to get the win. And that is why coaches preach about the details. The margins in this league are razor thin. Big group substitution here for Chicago. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Craig comes in for Williams. Dasumu, he's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Carter in for White. Now here's Caruso. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Drops a first. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the mid. Their game, that's just the way it is. No finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just keep having mid seasons. And so Craig nails both of them. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Coming off a win against the Hornets. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. Now here's Carter. He's averaging almost five points a game. Let's it go from 11. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Patrick Beverly. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. That free throw misses. And it's tied up with that one. We've got 113 left in the first. Beverly outside. The three is up. Drummond grabs the miss. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Carter against Beverly. On the attack, Carter. Got a piece of it. And sometimes shooters forget how long Batum is. He uses it so well to reject shots. Beverly, the pass to Batum. Back to Beverly. There's the three. And a 
Another miss by Philadelphia. For Chicago, they've gone three of six from the floor. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Drummond. Banked it in off the glass. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Now here's Maxi. Shoots over to Sumu. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Bulls out in front, up by two. We've got more in store for you right after this. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. Well, Richard, you had four finals appearances and faced some legendary competition in each one. Yeah, I went up against Shaq and Kobe, Duncan and David Robinson, Durant and Curry. That's why I lost three of them. But I was a part of the greatest championship ever in 2016, beating those 73 win Warriors. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. Patrick Beverly out there with DeAnthony Melton. And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. The officials were right on top of that one. Shooting two. And that one misses. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Chicago leading. Let's a floater go. Vucevic gets the bucket. On the interior, Vuce, look, this man has so many moves to account for. Melton outside. And it's Desumu with the rebound. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Hey, Brian, well, the Sixers have so much firepower, but it's all about chemistry. Anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other. The connection between the stars is what's going to help them reach their peak. Brian? Well, they've had to deal with some adjustments for sure. Ali, thanks. Now here's Beverly. No made baskets yet. Fires in the triple. It's big for them when he's hitting the three. Makes the deep work so much harder. White against Beverly. Williams passes to Vucevic. Pass to Beverly. With the drive from deep Melton. And the 76ers another three. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. White, the pass to DeRozan. Over Oubre. And again, no good by Chicago. Philadelphia has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Here's Harris. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. 
Yes, the first of four meetings between the teams. They should be quite familiar with one another by the end of it. And the more you see each other, the more contentious it gets. No bad blood between these teams right now, but that can change over the course of the season. Now here's Beverly. Embiid misses. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Kicks it to DeRozan. Releases from the wing and drills it. You can see his confidence on that shot. DeMar DeRozan catches it, fires it without a pause. Pass to Harris. The layup misses. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. The contest and the rebound, folks, that is how you defend. Well, Richard, when you talk about great scorers, DeMar DeRozan doesn't always get the credit he deserves. Yeah, he should really get more praise than he does, Brian, especially when you consider how incredible he is from mid-range. Well, that was clearly a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Melton. And the 76ers making a change here. Batum's checked in. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Andre Drummond is checked in for Vucevic. Craig comes in for Williams. Caruso, he's checked in for Desumu. And it's Carter in for White. Hits both from the strike. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. And a chance here to check out some stats for Kobe White. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Caruso finds Carter. To the inside. Drummond. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds now. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Batum, the pass to Beverly. 54 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Clock at six. Embiid inside. Drummond defending. Embiid gets the bucket. No slowing Embiid down. He powers right past the contact. Rosen looks it over. Here's Caruso. Still without a bucket. Out to Craig. The shot. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. The 76ers have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. 
Beverly with it. Down low. It's tipped. It's stolen by Drummond. The three from Craig. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Sixers ahead, up by two. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot. Coach Billy Donovan here with us. And Billy, what have you thought about the defense in the first half? Did a pretty good job, you know. Uh, fouled a little bit too much, but overall was a good job. But we got to do a better job offensively ourselves. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? They've been knocking it down from three. You have to give the playmakers credit for consistently finding the open guy. And then, of course, the shooters have to deliver. If they keep it up, they're going to be tough to beat. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice shots. Those are some much needed points, and it keeps them right in the game. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. De'Anthony Melton really making a difference here. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Second half underway. Here's who Billy Donovan's got on the floor. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside. Alex Caruso is out there with Kobe White. And it's DeRozan in it to three, a small forward. Love to see Embiid sliding down shots, taking advantage of his size and frame. And he's going for the oop here. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. And over the last 10 games, these players have been gobbling up the most rebounds. Second is Joel Embiid. Over these last 10 games, this guy has owned the boards, playing so well as of late. So it's Chicago now. Two-point game. Pass to White. For the tie. Count it. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. Philadelphia has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Out to the right wing. Embiid inside. Working on Vucevic. Embiid gets the bucket. This is why they feed Embiid. His teammates trust his ability to get the job done. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's DeRozan. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on Joel Embiid. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Known as a mid-range master with incredible footwork, DeRozan in this game just continued to age like fine wine. Reed's checked in for Philadelphia. Morris comes in for Tobias Harris. Oh. 
He hits the second from the line. Now Melton. Give him eight. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, Zach Levine talked about his path to stardom. He said, quote, I've always viewed myself as a top-tier player, and I put in the work. If you expect yourself to be here, it's something that you have to go out and show each and every day. I feel like I've done that. Brian, that confidence was there from day one. He's big time, Allie. Thanks for that. White can't hit. And they have been cold coming out of the break, only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Always ahead of steam, Richard. Tyrese Maxey is so electric. You never know what he's going to bring. Oh, B.A., he loves to get out and transition and run. Speed is his greatest asset and let speed kills. And he definitely uses that to his advantage. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Martin, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And the Bulls also making a change. This one, he's checked in for DeRozan. Maxi against White. Pass to Williams. Back to White. Puts it up. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. White's got four points now in the quarter. And here is Maxi. Inside. Here's Martin. Caruso grabs the board. And so it's Caruso who brings up the ball for Chicago. They trail by three. Here's Desumu. Pass to Williams. Caruso outside. With his first shot attempt. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Here's Maxi. Soft touch off the glass. Maxi's got his second basket of the game. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Pass to Vucevic. Blocked! Just five on the clock. Here's White. And it's Martin with the rebound. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. And he gets the bucket. Maxi's got six. And playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. White, the pass to Desumu. A kick out to White. Yep, that one goes. He has six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. The Bulls have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. 41 seconds left in the third. Pass to Desumu. Fires from deep. That shot, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Here's Maxi. 23 seconds left in the third. And here's Ubre. 
and he makes good on his first shot of the game. And the 76ers lead by seven. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. White finds Williams. Over Morris. Off the mark. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. There wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The Sixers leading. Melton the two with Harris at the three. Robert Covington is out there with Joel Embiid. And it's Beverly in at the one. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Outside Covington. That shot missing. Some solid defense from Drummond. Caruso, the pass to Carter to the rim for two with the D all over him. Carter's got his first points of the game. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lang. Now here's Covington. Comes up empty down low. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Carter against Beverly. Carter, the pass to DeRozan. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. One of the best at getting himself to the line. That's a big part of DeRozan's game. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. The name of Shoot the game two. in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. Yeah, another thing, this offense came in aggressive. Driving into the lane, forcing the defense to try to adjust. So far, the defense hasn't had enough of an answer. and hits them both. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Carter against Beverly. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. He makes a first. And he can't hit the second. Not perfect, but that opens this up to a two possession lead. Get to more. That's good from Craig on the assist by DeRozan. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. Philadelphia's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Pass to Embiid. Oh, Embiid imposing his will. 
rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. DeRozan finds Carter. Hits the trifecta. Carter's got five points now in the quarter. That's a look they always want him to take. If he's got space, he's got the ultra green light. Now here's Melton. Harris outside. And that one drops for him. And look, Harris is a tough player. A little defense, that's not going to scare him off of going inside. DeRozan passes to Drummond. Caruso with it. Pass to Craig. Outside Carter. The shot clock at six. That's tipped. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Wow! Drummond's able to sink it at the biggest possible time out, time moment. Out. And Philadelphia calls time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. Hey, guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Oubre, he's checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Beverly. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Thanks for that, Allie. And it's DeRozan missing. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Now here's DeRozan. Outside White. Pass to Caruso. Shoots over Melton. Caruso misses. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Six-point lead. Here's Harris. Carries it down low. Nice choice by Harris with the little floater. He has good instincts on the offensive end. DeRozan against Oubre. And it's DeRozan missing. Philadelphia has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. And Maxi the bucket time out, time out. on the assist from Melton. And now a 10-point Philadelphia lead. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're down by 10. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
51 seconds left in the game. Ubre against DeRozan. Will it go? That shot off the mark. Good D by Harris. And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock and don't turn it over. Now here's Harris. Over to Rosen. Kept alive. Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. And DeRozan gets it to go. He plays the game in so many different ways. DeMar DeRozan getting it done here with some nice handles. Here's Maxi. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. We'll see you again soon. Joel, we've heard critics in the past question your level of conditioning. How do you answer those critics? You know, I'm just going to keep on doing what I've been doing this year. And I've been healthy, and uh, I haven't been injured, and I'm going to try to keep that. I'm going to try to go keep that way. So. We'll stay locked in and wish you the best health. Thanks, Joel. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you later.